Hi there! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this crosshair lookup pattern based on two different selections. And if you want to work along with me, you can download the practice file in the description below. That said, let's jump right into it. Now the first thing you want to do is create a drop down list for the first selection. And in this example, we want the first selection to be one of the months that we have listed on the left side of our data. So select where you want the drop down list to go, and then go to Data, Data Validation. In the dialog box that appears, under Allow, select List. Then for the source, select the options on the left side of the data. You can then click on OK. Next, let's create the drop down list for the second selection. And in this example, we want the second selection to be one of the years that we have listed on the top of our data. So select where you want the drop down list to go, and then click on data validation. In the dialog box that appears, under allow, select list. Then for the source, select the options on the top of the data. You can then click on OK. Awesome. Now that we have our drop down lists, let's add in some conditional formatting. Start by selecting all of the data. Then go to Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule. In the dialog box, select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. Then for the formula, enter equals and select the top option among the options on the left. Now in your formula, get rid of the dollar sign in front of the row number, but leave the dollar sign in front of the column letter. Now enter another equals and select the cell that will contain the first selection, which in this case is the month in cell C3. Now, if you look closely at the formula, you can see that the row number for the first reference will change for each row of the selected data because there is no dollar sign in front of the row number. This means that each row will check if the corresponding month option will match the chosen month in cell C3. And since that completes the formula, go ahead and click on Format. And under the Fill tab, select a light fill color of your choice, and finally click on OK, and then OK. Now you can see the highlighted row changes based on your selection in cell C3. Let's add in the vertical highlight next. Select all of the data once again, then go to Conditional Formatting, New Rule. In the dialog box, select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. Then for the formula, enter equals and select the leftmost option among the options on the top. Now in your formula, Get rid of the dollar sign in front of the column letter, but leave the dollar sign in front of the row number. Now enter another equals and select the cell that will contain the second selection, which in this case is the year in cell C4. Now if you look closely at the formula, you can see that the column letter for the first reference will change for the column of the selected data because there is no dollar sign in front of the column letter. This means that each column will check if the corresponding year option will match the chosen year in cell C4. And since that completes the formula, go ahead and click on Format, and under the Fill tab, select a light fill color of your choice. Finally, click on OK, and then OK. You can now see the highlighted column changes based on your selection in cell C4. Now to finish the job, let's add the dark fill color at the intersection of the two selections. Once again, select all of the data and go to Conditional Formatting, New Rule. In the dialog box, select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format, and for the formula, enter equals and function, open parentheses, then select the top option among the options on the left. Get rid of the dollar sign in front of the row number, then enter equals 
and select the month in cell C3. Now add a comma and select the leftmost option among the options on the top. Remove the dollar sign in front of the column letter, enter equals, and select the year in cell C4. Now close parentheses and you have your formula. Now for the formatting. Go ahead and click on format, then select a dark fill color, then click on the font tab, bold the text, and change the font color to white. Finally, click OK and then OK. Now you have a crosshair lookup pattern that automatically changes when you change either one of the selections above. How cool is that? If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.